In this video, I'll be showing you the easiest way to set up an AI application that personalizes hundreds or even thousands of emails in minutes. This application will actually generate high quality personalization by scraping the data of the lead's LinkedIn profile. If you've done any cold outreach, you've probably already used ChatGPT to help you personalize some messages. The key is that now you can do this in bulk on your lead lists while still maintaining highly relevant personalizations based on someone's LinkedIn profile. We'll use Relevance AI, which is a very powerful no-code tool for building these kinds of applications. Even though it's a no-code platform, it could get a bit tricky when starting out. So we're taking it easy today by just personalizing the first one or two sentences of an email. But it is important to understand that once you get better at this, you can do a lot more. Some of the tools we've implemented for our clients can get really detailed and personal. You'll be able to customize entire emails from a variety of sources, including recent LinkedIn posts, company website, Google search, and more. But now let me screen share and show you how it works. So here we are in Relevance AI. You can sign up for a free account. The link is in the description below. What is Relevance AI? Relevance AI, basically we can create very powerful AI tools or applications with no code. Uh, now, as you can see here on the left, we can also build AI agents and we have another option which is called data. Uh, now we're not gonna go too in depth in this video. In this video, we're gonna build one tool, which is gonna be our email personalization tool. And then we're gonna use data where we're gonna run this tool in bulk on a spreadsheet. So here we are on the tool section. You can see here I have my email personalization tool, which I made before and I'm gonna show you today. But actually Relevance AI has lots of templates already available, which you can use like this or modify a bit to your specific use case. So you can see there's some interesting tools here like extract data from PDF, auto-generate an SEO optimized blog post. So there's ready-made templates which you can easily modify or use like this. Uh, it will save you a lot of time. For now, I'm gonna show you how I've set up uh, my email personalization tool. So I made this email personalization tool I created actually available for you to clone and import into your own Relevance AI, which is quite easy to do. Just check the description below. Uh, once you have it, you can tweak it with a few simple steps to make it work for your specific use case and industry. Now I made this tool specifically for my AI agency where we target sales directors. I'm gonna show you after how to customize this to your industry and your specific need, which will be quite easy. But for now, before doing that, I wanna show you how it works and to give you an example of what it actually outputs. Uh, so you can see here, we have their email personalization tool and all we do in this particular tool is ask for the LinkedIn URL because of course we're going to personalize the email based on the LinkedIn URL. So in this example, I'm just going to take uh, the, the head of sales of Slack, which of course is not in our target, but it serves as an example. So I paste in the LinkedIn and run the tool. So here we have it. Uh, it personalized the email. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Um, as I instructed it to do, it only personalized the first part of the email. The rest of the email I actually already wrote myself before, but it flows very nicely into the rest of the email. So you can see it personalized the first name, hi Jeremy, and then says leading the charge at Salesforce for Slack's sales since March 2022. I bet personalizing outreach at scale is on your radar. How's that going for you? I'm pretty happy with the result because it personalized some data from his LinkedIn, but it also made it relevant to the services we are offering as a company. So I'm happy with the result. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to customize this tool to your specific need and industry. To customize this, you simply click here on build. Now I'm not going to go too in depth in this video, but I'm going to give you a brief overview of how this actually works. If you purely want to customize, this tool for your own uh, personal use case. Don't worry, you don't have to understand all of this. All you will need to do is change some text in the prompt, which I will show you later. But I'm gonna give you a brief overview now. So you can see here, tools are basically made out of blocks which run in a chain. So you can see here, we have different blocks. 
So our first step is actually defining the user input. What do we want our user to put in? Which in this case, of course, is the LinkedIn URL. Now we're gonna save that LinkedIn URL into a variable, which we're gonna use in our next steps. So you can see our next step is get LinkedIn profile data. This is the step where we actually scrape the data from the LinkedIn profile. So as you can see, in this case, I fed it the variable from the user input, which is the LinkedIn URL. So in this step, you will actually scrape the data. And as you can see, it returns a lot of data about the lead LinkedIn profile. Now, this is a lot of data to feed to a language model. So we actually have another step here, which is keep only relevant data points from LinkedIn profile. Now, why do we have this? It's basically to summarize all of that data into only what we really need, only the relevant information. So don't worry if you don't know how to code, you don't have to change anything. But basically what this does is summarizing all the data we scraped from the LinkedIn to make sure that in the last step, which is our language model step where we're actually gonna prompt, we're not overloading the language model with too much information. Now in this last part, we're actually using the language model and this is where you will have to customize it to make it work for your specific use case. I'll tell you exactly where you'll have to change it to make it work for you. So my prompt basically consists of four parts. The first part is feeding it the LinkedIn data we scraped before, which is up until here. Then the second part is basically setting the goals and rules. The third part is I give it some examples. And the fourth part is the actual email and where it will have to personalize it. So I'll go through it step by step. Now in this first part, all we do is we ask the language model to read the previous LinkedIn data we scraped. So you can see I fed it the variable here, which we got from this step, which is the summarized or only relevant information from the LinkedIn profile. So that's all it is in the first step, right? I'm asking it to read that part. Now in this second part of the prompt, we're actually setting the goals and the rules. So you can see, look at the email below. I want the first two lines to be personalized according to the LinkedIn profile data. Now, important for you to personalize or customize according to your specific use case is this sentence. The personalization has to be related to something in outbound sales, emails, communication. This of course applies to my business, but will be different for your use case. So make sure to change this. The rest, you don't have to change. You can of course change. This is just something that has worked for me. For example, I have the personalization has to flow nicely into the rest of the email keep the personalization part under 35 words and some other rules, but feel free to change. Now in this third part, I actually feed it some examples of the personalization. This part will be important for you to customize too. Uh, examples really help the language model to understand what kind of personalization you're looking for and what kind of tone of voice and style you're looking for. So make sure to give it one or two examples of good personalizations for your specific use case. And in the last part of the prompt, I actually give it the email, which of course you have to change according to your specific use case. So this part is the email I actually wrote. I just made it clear here where it has to put in the personalization. And in this case, I also asked it to change the name. So in summary, all you have to do is go in the description below, copy and paste this tool into your own relevance AI, go to this third step in the build section and customize this line in the second part of the prompt, the example part, and of course, the actual email. With that only, you'll make it work for you. Now, lastly, you can actually change the language model you wanna use. You can see Relevance AI really has all language models available. In this particular case, I am using GPT-4 because it just gives me the best possible outcome. But if you wanna use any other ones, you can. Now, if you're gonna use GPT-4, you will have to copy and paste in your OpenAI API key. If you don't know how to do that, I'll explain it quickly. You just go and log into your OpenAI account. Then you go to platform.openai.com. On the left, you'll see a tab that says API keys. And there you'll have 
this button which says create new secret key you open that you copy and paste in uh, the API key into relevance AI it's quite simple also you will have to upload some credits onto your OpenAI account because there are some costs involved by using GPT-4 now I tried it with this particular tool and it cost me around two cents per generated email if you want to have it cheaper you can use the 3.5 model which will be a lot cheaper but I highly recommend using the GPT-4 model uh, just in terms of quality of outcome so once you're all set up, you can actually do a test run by clicking on run all. You'll see it goes through the different steps. It's getting the LinkedIn profile data. It's summarizing and now it's going through the prompt. And there you have it. Hi, Jeremy. I bet personalizing outreach at scale is on your radar. How's that going for you? So perfect. Now I'm going to show you the most important part, which is how to run this tool in bulk. Now to run this tool in bulk, you simply go back to use, where you'll see a tab that says run in bulk. So we click here, and you can actually see that you can even integrate it with a CRM. We can import it from a website, we can upload a CSV or we can start from blank. In this case, I made a quick example on an existing data set. So I'm gonna select that one and get started. Now we have to define the input for our tool, which of course for us is the LinkedIn profile. So you can see my spreadsheet here has a company name and the LinkedIn profile. So I want to set the input on my LinkedIn profile. So how do I do that? I click here, I go to LinkedIn profile and continue. Save and don't run. So now my tool is here in the third column and this is where the magic happens because we can click this button and basically run this tool on all the rows. Now in this case, I only have eight, but of course these can be hundreds. But before doing that, I recommend clicking the button here, which runs it on a single row, just to test and make sure that it works. Now I generated it for the first row and it worked. So now I can run this in bulk on the whole spreadsheet. Now this is gonna take a little bit, of course, cause it takes 10 to 15 seconds for each email to be generated, but you could just load this in the background, start working on other things while it starts automatically personalizing hundreds of your emails. Now I generated all eight emails. This took around one and a half to two minutes. Of course, when you run this on hundreds of leads, of course it will take a little bit, but again, you could just run this in the background. I'm quite happy with the results. Uh, I can read you one here. Hi, Miriam. Congrats on the impressive sales leadership at DoorDash since 2019. Scaling regional efforts must involve a ton of outreach. Curious, how do you keep it personalized? Very good, I very much like it. And from here, I can of course export it and import it into any cold email outreach tool I'm using or any CRM I'm using. So there you have it. This is how you build a tool that quickly personalizes hundreds of emails. I know this stuff can seem a bit tricky at first, especially if you're new to working with AI, but I hope I've made it a bit clearer on how doable it actually is. Remember, you can clone and steal the exact tool I just showed by checking the description below. It will take you a little bit to get used to relevance AI, but it's definitely worth it. AI tool and agent building is going to be an extremely valuable skill. So it's a good thing it's not that easy because people will be paying for the expertise. Every company will need custom solutions and if you learn how to do this now, you're positioning yourself very well for the future. All right, that's everything for today's video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below. I'm just starting out, so I really read them all and they're super helpful for me to figure out how to improve my videos. Also, if you liked what you saw today, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to put out a lot more of this type of content in the upcoming weeks. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.